anyone has any tips on getting to fit these pieces, this is going to slot in like a glove, fit like a glove. Final puzzle piece. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, we've done well. Yeah. Well done. I think we cracked it. Yeah. Why do we always have to fill no, the um, What's missing? <laughs> Can anyone guess in this shower? Bearing in mind it's quite dark in here. We don't need lights. <laughs> We've got this tanking kit. First thing that we have to do is this tanking primer. So we're going to do that now. It's about five o'clock now, so we're going to do that now and then tomorrow we can get on with the other parts of the tanking. Just put it on really, like, really thick. Well, I want to make sure we have enough for two coats though. We will. Just absolutely pile it on. Hey folks and welcome back. To those of you new here, we're Andy and Sophie and we started this channel to document our journey of changing our lives for the better. Our first stop is converting our Mercedes Sprinter, Ray, into a camper van. So make sure you join us each week where we're going to share our conversion successes and failures but we're also going to give you a little lens into our lives. In last week's video we framed our shower in the van and in this one we're going to line the frame and waterproof it. So let's get to it. Hi everyone, we're back! Kind of. It's like 20 past 11 on a Saturday and I still haven't gone out to the van yet. But basically we've been really ill. Uh, I was ill for about just under a week and then Sophie's had a really bad cold, um, just obviously just bringing her down. So we just decided to take time off from doing the van. But anyway, I'm going to get back into it today. I'm going to try and get the ball rolling again and finish off this shower frame. So, let's get to it, eh? Okay, so we're back in the van and it's like the land that stood still. It's like nothing's changed. Everything's just been left exactly as it was. I mean, it's not like there's ghosts and goblins going to be moving stuff around, but... Yeah, it got me realising actually how much stuff we still got to get done. So as you can see here, I think this is where we left it last time. I've now got to put basically plywood down here, down the side here, and then down here, and then, yeah, maybe a bit down there, I don't know. So I've got some poplar wood, so I really don't want to go cutting that, because it's quite expensive. Well, obviously I am going to cut it, but I don't want to just go cutting it, and then getting it wrong, and then wasting that whole piece of wood. So I really do need to do my measuring, and I'm rubbish at all this stuff, so. Let's see how we get on. This is the bit, and when you watch all these videos, people just cutting it, they just go in and go in and just cut it, Wee! scribe it, cut it, no problem. I don't think it's that easy. Anyway, let's see how we get on. So about an hour in, hour and a half in, something like that. And, um, like all these things, when you come back to a project, you kind of realise things that you hadn't done properly. So here, just I've done some more securing up here. Just cut these out so that it's a bit more of a tighter fit. I also had to heighten these a little bit more. There's still a gap up here, but I just put them up a bit higher because obviously when the plywood goes over the top, I want it to be as minimal as possible so that we don't break any seals. Later. It's about another hour later, and the plot thickens. Look at this mess down here! Oh no! I've removed all the box in. I've managed to completely secure the frame. That is rock solid into the ceiling. Thumbs up. But the um Do you know what? The boxing. Don't watch that boxing video. They are terrible. You can tell I did those in the early days. Look at how many screws went into that little box. Oh, that is completely overkill. And it was still loose. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm taking all this out because I'm going to box it in within the shower and then for the garage I'll just work it out on the other side. I don't know why I've this boxing in thing. I, I think I, someone in the comments said something about this that I'd done it silly. I don't even put a lid on it. I, a lid? I can't even take it off. Anyway, 
there's not much footage at the moment because I'm just trying to basically prep and get this frame ready so that I can line it. But I keep finding things like this that I'm thinking, no, it's not going to work with the lining. Anyway, we shall continue. <laughs> Um, another day of what it feels like is achieving nothing. Can you imagine a world where you need to spend the whole day, the whole day, no, that's not true, since 11 a.m., it's a good six, seven hours, um, just putting in wood in a corner, that's it. Other than some support bits and bobs here and there, that's it. This basically putting in the structure to keep it boxed in and then obviously what you need to be doing is thinking about when plywood goes over the top it's got to come down here right so I'm going to have to put plywood down here now and fit it in here so I've got it, it, what I thought was going to be a quick job I now need to go through everything again and make sure that everything's got a surface that it can attach to does that make sense it's nearly the end of the day on Sunday Soph is scribing, but we've actually changed quite a lot on the um, on the frame. I say changed a lot, added a lot more wood. So you can see these bits here, all glued on, glued on here, and that's basically so that the I was saying this previously, but it's so that when you put the plywood on, it's got something to be screwed onto basically. Not. We have to um, remember to look at this, not this, because we got told off in the comments for that. Did we? Yeah. <laughs> Did we actually? Someone said, it's. I love your videos, but it's really off-putting. And then someone else commented to say, yeah, but it, this video is still great, so thank you. <laughs> oh, because we keep looking at that? Yeah. I said we should just turn that round, actually, when we're not uh, using but, it. but then you don't know if you're in the frame. Well, yeah. Just remember to look at that instead. Yeah, we need to get a new camera. It then. annoys people. <laughs> it annoys me too, to be we fair. We need to get a new camera. Because on the GoPro, you wouldn't get that, would you? Because it'd be there. Yeah, true. Well, there you go. Oh, well, thanks for that. <laughs> Another expense. <laughs> so, we've got a full weekend of vanning ahead of us. How are you feeling this morning? Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah. Rested. Um, yeah, good. Right, I'm rested. We've recovered almost. Yeah. But I don't think I'm gonna go all out like I was last time though. No. I'm pretty certain my dad was right. Burnout. Yeah. Yeah, with the, the van, the videos working, it was all getting a bit much, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really. Which is why we've had a bit of a break, so sorry for lack of videos recently, but Sometimes. And they're probably going to continue to be lack of videos. I think we're going to move to monthly. Yeah, at the moment. It's just... Too much. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, very good. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Wow. <laughs> plywood done. I feel like we could get, do you reckon we can get them done today? Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. The brain's just working better as well. You can tell it's like you just, you just like run out of steam. Right? Yeah. That's my help. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Jeez. sanding session to see if it fits. It's not going to quite fit I don't think yet but if anyone has any tips on getting to fit these pieces. Well, a bit late now. It's a bit tips. late now. <laughs> For anyone else that might be doing it. Oh. Oh, God. 
gazillion miles off. But oh yeah, it's looking quite good. I still think we could take this more off. Well yeah, because it's still, it's still way too tight there. Yeah, exactly. Which is good because... Yeah, you want it to be a tight fit. It's looking good though, like gives you a real, you know, impression of what it'll be like. I'm not really doing much other than looking. Hi. How are you doing? Just filming random stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> Trying to get some footage. Let's go for round number 75,000. 75, Alright, we think this might <laughs> fit. Why do we think? I don't think that. I do. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, it's gone in way more. Still not quite. Still a bit quite. tight. A few moments later. Okay, here again. <laughs> Let's have a look. Ooh. 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 Ah. It's in, I think. Is it throwing slightly? Oh, it's unfortunately, that's annoying. What? It's like a little, it's a bit in the middle here's a bit. Oh, it's sticking out a bit. Yeah. Oh no. Other than that. Okay, that's fine. Right, I'm just going to get the multi tool. Yeah. Do the job. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Good. Imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, we're on the second wall. I feel like we're almost oh. there. Uh, How is it still not fitting? Just slightly. Um, it looks like it's being held at like, that left corner. What I don't get is um, in every video you watch, this bit's pretty much already done. Do you know what I mean? Like they, they just cut it. I know. Once. I don't think they do though. No, they don't. No way do they. I think they lie. Is it gonna go in? So this is exactly why we shouldn't be allowed, sorry, the lighting is terrible, <laughs> to do DIY or build this camper van. Look at the gap on this piece of plywood all the way down. And this is only because when we measured out, when we were doing the... Ah! <laughs> when we were describing this out, this wasn't attached, so it was obviously sitting further out. Most people will probably think that's pretty obvious, but we don't. So now we've got to recut the whole thing. Good times. <laughs> okay, we've recut it, and we think this might be our best piece of wood yet. Skill set upgraded. Yeah. <laughs> Still just... a little long. I don't know if it is. There's a little bit of room up the top there. So I think if that's the case, we might need to take off a tiny bit on the top left corner. Round two. Round Thousand. two? Well. Before? Round since I put and said it was the best. This is the best. This is going to slot in like a glove. Fit like a glove. Final puzzle piece. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what are you doing? Annoying, 
one battery by the way, so we might it's gonna cut off. We actually got it. Literally, as we get it in. <laughs> one minute thirty-seven seconds later. Oh, it's not quite. Oh, there you go. That's in. Oh, Look at that. That's all right, actually. That is the best we've ever done. That is so good. Yeah, not bad. Look at these Still some corners. filling bits, but not bad. Yeah, well, that's actually covered quite a lot of that, which is yeah, good. It is, yeah. Look at these, look how close it is everywhere. Oh my God. Okay, third piece is done. Look at this. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't seem like rocket science. It feels like rocket science. Um, all drilled in, countersunk screws. We just need to fill all of these holes in that we've done. The back's done. Uh, as you can see, we've got a still got a piece up that's going to go from here all the way across here for the roof and put a little hole in it for the for the light. Uh, these lights actually up here are waterproof, so all will be good. Um, and this last panel over here has been done. So what we need to do now is just a little little bit at the back here. It's quite easy to do. And the same for this bit here. And we've got our, our shower almost done. Okay, so we've almost done. We've got one more bit left to do. Andy has done these bits and they're attached. Bit at the bottom there. So having realized we hadn't put any of the pipes in, we're now putting them in and just putting some conduit around them so that they don't rub against the battens. Not the best order of doing things, but... <laughs> no, terrible order. <laughs> but it'll do the job. in the hole again we're pulling some wire through just in case we're putting an extra bit of conduit in for any extra you know electricals that we might need <laughs> in the future just a bit of conduit a bit of wire simple as that really just in case we never ever need it all the way through to the other side It's not that much though. What I was hoping to do is bring it down a little bit, mm. then we could have um, screwed into here. Yeah. And then screwed into the button up there. But ignoring that, look at this curved ceiling. Beautiful. It's good, isn't it? Really good. Well, we've done well. Yeah. Well done. I think we cracked it. Yeah. Shot. Okay. <laughs> right, so we're back to the shower again today. I'm going to try and get as much of it as we can done. We need to do the tanking. I've just got out of bed. But anyway, whatever. I've now fitted the ceiling. I've only got one batten kind of at the top. So I've been able to screw the ceiling into that one batten. And I've also been able to just kind of screw into a batten at the side to kind of hold it into place. But the rest of it is mostly sturdy anyway. But I've, what I've done is put sticks like shit all around it. I've just to kind of keep it in there in place. And what I'm going to do now is start putting in wood filler to all the little screw holes. To, and then any little gaps to really give that a secure thing. And then we'll probably go over with the tape to get, give it a nice seal. And then of course tank it. Right, over to the time lapse. And I was talking to the camera again. Ah! Camera, screen. I was talking to the screen again.
Then. So. Is it fat? Yeah. Um, I think so, maybe. I don't know, to be honest. It's hard to say. I can't tell in that corner if it's down or not. Um, it might be. Looks like it probably is. I think so. Looks, I can't tell. Are you still in the room? For yeah, sure? yeah. You're just not going to jump. Just don't jump. Does it feel wonky? Um, it's hard to say, isn't it? I don't think so. Let me have a go. We've sanded most of the screw holes. Just got a few more to do that were done later, so they just need a bit more time to dry. Andy is now putting sticks like shit on the floor. And then we're going to be sticking this bit on. Figured that would be fine. And then once that's done, we can start tanking, whatever that involves. <laughs> oh no, I've run out. Oh no. Do we have more? I don't know if we do. I don't know if we do. <laughs> Hold on. Didn't go running. Have we only got the clear stuff? Yeah. Is that actually all we got? I think so. I've had this clear stuff, it's just not as strong. I mean, not being funny, that just literally sank in. It did. A glove. <laughs> oh god, there's so much dust. Why do we always have to so film our stuff? Um, what's missing? <laughs> Can anyone guess in this shower? Bearing in mind it's quite dark in here. We don't need lights. <laughs> now, we even spoke about this yesterday the fact know, that yeah. we need to know where the light is, and we've just gone and attached it. You've probably drilled through the wire already. No, I haven't, because I went through um, the bat the baton, but... We don't know where the... It's around here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Honestly, this is just classic us. Uh huh. One screw there, two screws there, third... Screws? Is it the third screw on that picture? Must be. Third screw, and then the, the light is... Right here. Yeah, I think that's about right. <laughs> Nowhere near. Ooh. Oh, fuck, that's not good. But we might be able to fish the wire out somehow. Oh, God, it can't come away. Oh, it's there. It's there. Okay. So, that's not terrible. So, what do you need? What are you doing? Why are you putting the wire? Goodness. We're now at the grip fill stage, which is basically a non solvent. What is it? A non solvent sealer? Filler? Filler. filler. It's a yeah, filler. Adhesive and filler thing. Wolfie, thinking jiggy. So, whilst in the wood, we've wanted to kind of layer it up a bit before we do the tanking. So, what we've actually done is used some wood protective treatment across the wood uh, on all the pieces in the shower and we've also filled in all the holes with some wood filler and we're also now going through with some grip filler as you saw Sophie doing then we can do the tanking so really we're kind of giving it lots of different layers to try and keep it as waterproof as possible Good morning, happy Sunday. It's Sunday of a bank holiday, so we're in good spirits. <laughs> Working on the bathroom still. We've noticed a bit of cracking around some of the edges, so we're actually going back in again with some, is this Sikaflex stuff? Sikaflex, yeah. yeah. Because- Just an extra layer of- Yeah. Obviously we're gonna have lots of other waterproofness going on, but as Andy said, we just want to make sure that should that fail, this is hopefully going to be waterproof as well. 
well, it's not waterproof because it's plywood, but... Well, it will be when it's tanked. Oh yeah, when it's tanked. So, we've got to put this on and then, yeah, annoyingly, can't really, that's kind of way fast dry. Hmm. Whilst uh, waiting for the shower silicone to uh, dry, decided to make a start on the bed slats. So what we've done, we've taken, we bought these from Ikea. They don't really fit because they're too long. So what we've done is we cut them down to size, but taking it off the each, each end so that it still kind of maintains its bounce. And then what I'm doing, we're Velcroing it <laughs> to this. Well, it's the easiest way, and I don't want to screw it in. No. This is like quite solid metal. I think it's going to work. Right, we're on quite a big part of the build. We're putting a hole in the floor for the sink. A sink? What's it called? Plug hole. Yeah, so, drain. drain. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I'm pretty certain this isn't long enough. So Andy's got a big drill bit. Yeah, probably isn't to be honest. Um, so we might have to get a screw fix a tool station or something. Oh god, are you actually doing it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. We've only had one look under the van. Yeah. Uh, I've two looks under the van. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god! Daylight! That was easier than I thought it would be. Let's go look. Do you want to go look? At what? <laughs> yeah, let's go and have a look. Underneath the van. See what destruction we've caused. <laughs> oh, perfect. Is it? Right in the middle. Good. Okay. That'll do the job. Nice. Well done. <laughs> right. We've got the proper drill bit. It's very, very dark in here. Uh, this isn't going very well. Oh yeah. Oh, you've gone through a pattern. Have you? Yeah. I'm not sure that's a good thing. <laughs> no. yellow paint out once again haven't had this out for a while so I'm just gonna I'm sorry get a bit on there and there's just a bit of metal this is not working well at all and it's not in focus either See, it's not quite perfect, but it's the first attempt. Um, and this is so that the, this drain hole can be sunk in. What I'm not quite sure about is how the flooring is then going to go underneath that, but Andy thinks it'll work. So I guess the logic is correct. Yeah. I think it can go down a bit lower, <laughs> just a fraction. Yeah. So yeah, it's just been slightly. Slightly too big. Annoyingly, it is so, my, so my template's not quite right. Okay, Andy has come to terms with the router, router, and routed a hole. Now he's going to try and freeze under it. How are you feeling? Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm going to, it's going to completely fuck it up, so I'm going to have to just concentrate. Okay. 
Yeah. And glasses, because this is going to get messy, I think. Mean. Cool. I mean, is it? I think well, so. Right, after a little bit of trial and error with the size of the hole, we've now gone bigger than the actual drain. So you'll see it's significantly bigger, which might look a bit odd. But do you want to show them why? We're putting a fairly thick yeah. um, flooring down, which is obviously fairly waterproof. And it's quite stiff, isn't it, as well? Yeah. Obviously, you need the, this bit to be lower than the floor, because that's where the water is going to drain down to. Yeah. So like this, look, I think once we stick that down, Yeah. you can see already. Lower, it's now lower because it's looping down like that, so it should come down and in. Yeah. I think that's literally perfect. I do. Yeah. I think once that's stuck down. Stuck down. Yeah. Nice and right. tight like that. Yeah. As I think. Yeah. I think that's quite that's good. Yeah. Yay! God, that took a while. So the next thing we're going to do now that we've done the plug hole is get on with the tanking. We've got this tanking kit. First thing that we have to do is this tanking primer. So we're going to do that now. It's about five o'clock now, so we're going to do that now and then tomorrow we can get on with the other parts of the tanking, which involves this tape stuff. Goes on all the corners, uh, well edges to seal them properly and make sure it's waterproof. And then there's the tanking membrane, which basically makes it into a complete wet room if done right, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're going to do now, do the priming, tomorrow I'll do the tape and the membrane and then we'll have a waterproof wet room. bank holiday Monday and we're getting on with tanking this morning so first job now that we've primed last night so this is all dry hopefully we've got this tape which is basically mastic tape I believe but it's got like a felty furry coating so we're gonna be putting that on all the seals all the joins so in the corners um, around the door where kind of the plywood is meeting the battens so that's today's job. So we've got two rolls of this, so hopefully that's going to be enough to do everything. I know self-built stories had to buy more, but they did have a lot more joins, so I'm hoping this is going to be enough for us to get this done today. Here comes Andy to oh. oversee the shenanigans. I'm doing the tape. Andy's just going to watch. I want to do the first always. strip. Oh. I want to take all the glory. <laughs> just want to give it a go. <laughs> yeah. Go on then. Yeah, one strip was enough. I'm not doing any more. It's really, really sticky stuff though. Like, really sticky. It's not really straight. But yeah, I'm just cutting it in, trying to work out how to do the corners. But yeah, over to self. I've always known so's good. But this is really good. Perfection. You yeah, really can't complain about that. So that should keep water out from the from, from where all the joins are basically. Okay, we're going on to the actual tanking membrane. It's very thick. It's quite satisfying actually. Like it's super, super duper thick. Quite looking forward to doing this. Andy's just putting it up on story, stories, Instagram stories. Just, just put it on really, like really thick. Well, I, make, I want to make sure we have enough for two coats though. We will, just absolutely 
pile it on. Yeah, okay. Number one. So, what are we going to do? Two coats. Two coats. Yeah, because we only have we only have enough for three. It does look patchy, but yeah. Well, wait till it dries, which I guess twelve hours. It's very patchy. That's fine. So it's been about three days since that last clip, and we've now done three coats of the membrane. So it's pretty much war tanks now. Yeah. Hurrah. Yeah, it's looking. You can't see any patches. It's all looking quite thick. So it should be. We're fully waterproof, hopefully. It's really dark. It is dark, yeah. So next thing is to do the white panels of, what what is it? PVC type stuff. PVC. Yeah. So that will require templating again to get the same shape as the plywood, which really we should have cut out a template, but never mind. But that's not going to be in this video. That's going to be in the next video. Yeah. So this has been a really long video, like nearly 38 minutes long. Uh, but there was a lot to catch up on. And what we were trying to do here was show you the true reality of building a shower and it was being, as you, as you can see it's been quite difficult yeah and we wanted to kind of show it the whole process as well obviously it's not the whole process because it's not finished but up to a certain point where it's actually waterproofed so yeah that's what we've done and hopefully you've enjoyed yeah so don't forget Excellent. like subscribe all that nonsense yeah buy us a coffee uh, buy a t-shirt <laughs> sorry <for inter> <laughs> yeah anyway see you in the next one